It was a game Valley basketball fans have hyped all season long. Missouri State and Drake collide today in Springfield with a Missouri Valley Women's Conference Championship potentially on the line. An emotionally charged afternoon, no doubt, especially for senior point guard Danielle Gitson on the Missouri State bench. The final home game for number one in maroon and white. Gitson is the only senior on this team. She has been an invaluable team captain all season. But Drake crashed the party early on. Valley's leading scorer, Becca Hittner, with a putback, too. Bulldogs had a 6 2 lead. Gitson got the offense going with a three there. That was the only triple of the day. Lady Bears one out of 17 from downtown. Sarah Ryan and Drake are deadly from outside. She had 19 points today. Look at Gitson getting crafty in the second quarter, passing off the defender's back, getting it back, and scoring. Lady Bears are down eight. The Bulldogs really pulled away before halftime. Ryan, quick passing, finds her for two. 18 point halftime lead for Drake, but the Lady Bears brought the fight after that. Jasmine Franklin with the steal. Bryce Caleb finding Gitson on the run. Bucket and one. MSU climbs all the way back within four. But Drake made a couple back breaking threes in the fourth quarter. Maddie Monahan splashed that one from the corner. The comeback comes up just short. Drake takes over first place with a 70 to 61 win. You know, at halftime, I told our players we had two options. They could either fold or they could um, fight it. And well, they, they made a statement there, I thought. You know, they came back out and played hard. I didn't think I was going to tear up, but there's some tears. Um, but yeah, it meant a lot to me. And I don't know. Just, it's just mixed emotions. So it's like nice being recognized after playing four years, but the season's not over. There is still a shot for Missouri State to split the conference title, but they would need either Illinois State or Bradley to win up in Des Moines. That's always tough. Lady Bears also need wins at Evansville and Indiana State. They will be either the one or the two seed for the conference tournament up in the Quad Cities.